The Chiefs of Relief are on tour promoting their new album, self-titled. We're at Peabody's Down Under. With me is Paul Cook, Duncan Gregg, Matt Ashman, and Lance Berman. I got them right from Chiefs of Relief on their first coast-to-coast -coast tour of the United States. Welcome to Cleveland. Nice to be here. Thanks, Tom. All right, now this is uh, the first release in the United States, but I understand that prior to this, you had a big hit in the UK with Freedom to Rock. That's yeah, right. well, a big dance floor hit, really. Um, I mean, great. I must be brutally honest. It wasn't like a massive uh, chart smash, but it done us a lot of good on the dance floors, and kids loved it, you know? All the members of the band here have changed instruments. It's nice, isn't it? Well, it's, in, a, in this day and age, I mean, with you know, uh, the equipment that you get nowadays, it's not so important to be, you know, maybe a keyboard player and such, more to have a musical mind, because, you know, obviously a lot of the modern equipment does the work for you nowadays. So, as long as you've got a musical brain, then uh, you can uh, get results with the stuff they've got nowadays. We like to mix it up a bit, you know. Yeah, I mean, that's what punk was all about anyway, you know. It's like, you didn't have to be a strict professional as such and know all your riffs backwards you know you can just pick up an instrument put your soul and heart into it and that's you coming out of it nowadays you know that's what modern technology is there for you know now like we mentioned before it's a, a multifaceted album it's uh, a change in direction for all of you you feel like reflection guess, for this, this, this very much so yeah yeah that's what, that's what's good about the band really that's why what i like about it a lot of different influences in there because it was hard to do something new, you know, it always is, you know. It's, it's, it's basically what I wanted to do in Bow Wow Wow. I wasn't the happiest geezer on God's Earth, if you know what I mean. There was a lot of problems in the band and I thought, don't want to do it. I split up the band. I had certain ideas. I'd been to America, I'd got into, like, the sound of the ghettos and all that, you know, the hip-hop thing that happened about five years ago. Blew my brains out, it was like punk again. So I thought, well, I like it, I better mix it with what I know and get involved with some people that I like. Hence Duncan, Paul and Lance, you know? Instead of people I didn't like, I thought I'd get involved with people I did like. The band has a song named after themselves. That's right. That's right. Yeah. All the best bands do, right? <laughs> You've got to have a song named after the band. Yeah. Must have a song. Is this, number is this one. a song describing the band? Yeah. It was originally... We want to take the old world home. We possibly can. One nation, one station, we all check in. We're the chiefs of the league. We're, We're going to tell you where we've been. The way the music scene, especially in our country at the moment, um, kicking out a noise is really just an answer to all the people that are very manufactured and very uh, cold and have no feeling. It's, we're saying, we're not like you, this is us. We're on a punk rock mission, as simple as that. You wouldn't believe how difficult it was for me and Paul to get a record deal in England, okay? In we fact, still we still ain't released in England, okay? It's that backward. America was the only place that would let us rock. The freedom to rock. America, here we come. I love the place, all right? England, we couldn't get a deal. Maybe because of our past, I don't really know why it was. A lot of different You know, but they didn't like us, you know? I was out there, you know, three years with no money. I was living on the, the equivalent of the South Bronx, man, sharing a room with a prostitute to write my songs. <laughs> Suffering well, for my art, baby. <laughs> But it's all right now. 